we have a 99 year old Italian stallion that has zero, zero tolerance for cheaters. A 99 year old Italian man filed for divorce from his 96 year old wife of 77 years after he found letters from an affair she had 60 years ago. The man identified in court papers as Antonio C discovered the letter is changed between his wife and a former flame in an old chest drawers days before Christmas. According to the Telegraph, he confronted his wife, Rosa C. So Rosa C is the cheating wife who reportedly admitted to the affair. So she's like, man, you're 99 years old. Who cares? But the Italian stallion wasn't having it. She tried to convince him to stick with the marriage. <laughs> But despite the nearly eight decades they spent building a life together, a scorned Antonio C. moved ahead with the divorce. The letters were the latest woe in the couple's long marriage during which they had five kids, 12 grandchildren, and one great-grandchild together. Originally from Sardinia, Antonio C. reportedly met Rosa C. in the 1930s while he served as part of an Italian carabinieri in his native Naples. The Italian press pointed to the couple's southern blood as the catalyst for the breakup. Once Antonio and Rosa C. divorce is finalized, they will become the oldest divorcee, according to the Telegraph, taking the title from Brit Berti and Jesse Wood, both 98, who called it quits in 2009 after 36 years of marriage. Well done, Antonio. You had the last laugh. The cheater got what she deserved, even if it's 60 years later. No one, I mean, no one, regardless, no one deserves to be cheated on. This man was man enough to do the right thing. It's not about the age for him. It's about the principle, the disrespect. And even at 99 years old, Mr. Antonio refused to be a simp. Let me know in the comment section, if this was you, you're 99 years old, you find out 60 years later that your beautiful wife cheated on you. What are you going to do? What the F are you going to do? Are you going to divorce her? Or are you going to say, well, we're about to die. So, so be it. Let me know in the comment section. You have a wonderful day.